The Institute of Life Science, ILS, is Wales's premier purpose-built medical research facility. Strategically located between Swansea University and Singleton Hospital, with breathtaking views over Swansea Bay, it represents the single largest investment ever made by the Welsh Government on any university campus. The vision for the ILS is to advance medical science through multi- and interdisciplinary research and innovation for the benefit of human health, and to link those benefits to the economy by encouraging interaction with other organisations through its unique collection of facilities. The Clinical Research Facility, linked with the Clinical Research Unit at nearby Morriston Hospital, is enabling continued growth in clinical research patient studies. It undertakes both pharmaceutical and peer-funded studies across most disease areas, as well as device evaluations from early product development. As well as state-of-the-art equipment, the team can also advise on protocol development and undertake regulatory submissions. The research that we're doing here in the ILS2 building is funded by the Welsh Government and we're aiming to research uh, type 1 diabetes as responses to resistance exercise. It's an area of um, research that hasn't been capitalised on in the past. Um, there's great potential to have the research embedded in the clinical research facility in ILS2 because it offers us an avenue for pursuing very detailed clinical questions but of an academic rigour that produces outcomes that will generate information for healthcare professionals and patients with uh, diabetes and other conditions. So we're very fortunate to have this facility betwixt between the clinical uh, ABMU and Swansea University uh, sites to pursue these avenues. Adjacent to the clinical research facility is a high-end clinical imaging suite Comprising a full complement of human clinical imaging capabilities, it boasts a Siemens 3T Magnetron Skyra, Siemens Somatom CT Scanner and Syngio Vio Image Processing Server, plus contrast injection systems, a cannulation suite and side rooms. The clinical imaging facility at Swansea has recently installed the Skyra 3 Tesla Magnet. This is um, a state-of-the-art research centre and the Skyro is handling mixed research workload which involves MRI spectroscopy, neuroradiology, tractography and we're doing functional MRI and diffusion tensor imaging. Since opening in 2007, the ILS has encouraged the development of a life science cluster in the region and business is thriving. Client organisations and affiliate members have access to fully serviced workspace introductions to key experts and the opportunity to book ILS meeting areas and attend networking events. Together these make ILS an ideal location to start up or expand in the life science sector. Simil Connect is a standard based ICT company with expertise in healthcare, informatics and mobile technology. Our solutions offer seamless integration with existing clinical systems and, mobile, and remote access via mobile devices. There are a number of benefits being based in ILS. Uh, our business requires us to work with SMEs, academics, healthcare, and being based here, we have access to all of these. Cowan Cardio Technology is a company that has been set up to develop a miniaturized implantable blood pump for treating people with advanced heart failure. The benefits for Cowan Cardio Technology being based in the Institute of Life Science is that we have access to both office and laboratory facilities. This is a unique combination and it's very difficult to find this anywhere else. We also benefit from being able to collaborate with researchers in the College of Medicine and also researchers in the College of Engineering as our device is a highly technical engineering device as well as a medical device. With hundreds of active researchers, the ILS offers expertise in laboratory-based biomedical research, public health, population sciences and health services research and more. 
Nearly 90% of ILS research is independently judged as international or world leading. We're involved in um, a couple of different areas of research here. One area um, is prostate cancer based research where we work very closely with colleagues in the National Health Service um, and the main gist of the work that we're doing is to try and identify novel um, markers that could be used to predict which patients um, develop aggressive forms of the cancer. The other area of research then is genetic toxicity toxicology which is um, where we look at exposure to compounds to determine whether or not they induce um, DNA damage. Yeah, we've been collaborating um, between medicine and engineering for a number of years and mostly in the area of developing new medical healthcare technologies based on nanomaterials and the, the nanotechnology industry which is where our colleagues in engineering have got a, a great deal of expertise. The Centre for Nano Health, CNH, is a unique collaboration between the Colleges of Medicine, Engineering and Science at Swansea University. It is the first state-of-the-art nano-health facility of its kind in Europe and brings together the expertise of clinicians, life scientists, engineers and industry to develop cutting-edge technologies and devices for the benefit of patients worldwide. It's a fantastic facility, it's open access, companies come in, come in, they can use the facilities with us, we can develop collaborative projects in the centre. As well as laboratory-based research, the ILS is also home to renowned research looking at medicine and health from the point of care. This includes initiatives such as the NHS Wales Informatics Research Laboratories, which aims to support real patient benefits through the delivery of healthcare IT innovations centred on the patient. Health informatics is a very significant theme in the ILS. It's the application of computer technologies to healthcare. Um, we have a variety of um, different types of activity under this broad umbrella. It includes um, our NHS informatics um, lab, which is run in partnership with the NHS in Wales, and EHI2, eHealth Industries Innovation Centre, where we work with 75 companies in Wales developing new products and services. Hot on the heels of the success of EHI2 in 2012, the ILS was selected by the Medical Research Council and other major research funders to become one of four UK centres of excellence in e-health research. As one of four similar centres in the UK, we'll be exploring the use of big health data um, and its use in answering important health questions. Our centre in Swansea is going to be called Cypher the Centre for Improvement of Population Health through eHealth Research. It's led by my colleague Ronan Lyons and we're going to be using our large-scale computing uh, resources here in Swansea and our partnership with the NHS and public sector to try and make a huge difference to both the health of the population in Wales and the development of this new research discipline. The advancement of medical and healthcare research for the benefit of the health and wealth of the population is at the heart of the ILS vision. The ILS team is dedicated to building links with business and for business to achieve this goal and is actively seeking new research collaborations, business partners and entrepreneurs looking for a supportive base in Wales. This is our view. We'd like to hear yours.